what the storms did throughout the area, in fact, across the nation over the weekend, but now behind that, yeah. the rain. Yeah, the rain. We've got uh, showers. We had one nice day mm -hmm. to try we to did. clean up, and, and unfortunately, we've got rain around that's going to make cleanup efforts that are still ongoing, especially in places that were really hard hit on Saturday, that much more difficult. Right now, Storm Team Radar shows where the rain is. Most of the showers south of Interstate 20. Some of the heavier rain is south of our viewing area, but we do have a batch of some stronger rain. No thunder with this that will impact folks in Talladega County. Right now, you're seeing some heavy rain near Childersburg and Sylacauga, Bell Vista, Briarfield, the city of Talladega near the Speedway and Lincoln. Uh, here in the next 15 to 20 minutes or so, and then moving into St. Clair County and eventually Calhoun County too, if that area of rain holds together. Like we said, nothing serious with any of this, but just some heavier downpours that are going to be an inconvenience, and that's really what we're going to see for most of the week. Some areas of rain, some heavy downpours too. We do have some thunderstorms down in southeast Alabama near the Wiregrass region, Covington, Op, Andalusia, seeing some showers as we speak this morning. Things will really turn as far as our weather goes uh, for most of us later on today. I think our, our increased rain chances by the afternoon and especially the next few days too. Temperatures in the 50s in Tuscaloosa, 52 right now. Do have some spots in the 40s in our northwestern counties, 45 Fayette, 45 Jasper, 43 in Coleman. The numbers near 60 in Alexander City, so that front really playing with our temperatures early this morning. So you see the showers. The future cast is going to show mostly light to moderate rain. There'll be some areas of heavier downpours too. They're just going to be very hard to predict all because of the nature of our rain. It's going to come because of the stationary boundary. Wherever that sets up is where we'll have the heaviest rain, but it's really hard to predict that. Temperatures in the mid 60s for today, low 60s, upper 50s for tonight, more showers around. Just expect if you don't have rain at any one moment, here for the next few days, wait a couple of hours and you probably will. That will be the flavor of our rain chances here uh, all the way through Wednesday, tonight into Tuesday. I think the heaviest, some of the heaviest rain that we see could fall on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, another round of rain is possible with a cold front that approaches too. More showers could be around for the end of our week as well. This is a rough estimate. This is just a guide. Don't take this as gospel as far as the locations of the heaviest rain, but we think wherever the heaviest rain axis is, it's going to be somewhere in central Alabama, probably along Interstate 59 and 20. Anywhere that you see the heaviest rain, two and a half, three inches, maybe even four inches, and that could cause some flooding issues, and we're going to have to monitor that very closely each and every day. So more showers around tomorrow. And on Wednesday, maybe a little bit of a break, but really the Thursday, Friday forecast is going to depend on a cold front that moves through. I think we have some good chances of rain again on Saturday before things really cool off and dry out for Sunday and through the beginning of next week. That's your forecast.